Welcome to Engineer's Blueprint. Today, we're talking about two critical elements for landing a civil engineering job, your resume and portfolio. Whether you're a new graduate or looking to advance in your career, a standout resume and portfolio can make all the difference. Let's dive in and master these essential tools for your success. Let's start with the resume. In civil engineering, your resume is a reflection of your technical skills, hands-on experience, and project contributions. Your resume should be clear, concise, and no more than one page if you're a recent graduate, or two pages if you have years of experience. Focus on formatting. Use clear headings, bullet points, and a professional font. 1. Header and contact information. First, make sure your header includes your full name, phone number, email address, and LinkedIn profile if you have one. This is crucial for employers to easily contact you. 2. Professional Summary Include a brief professional summary at the top of your resume. This should be a compelling snapshot of your career. This is a 2-3 to three sentence overview of your key skills, experience level, and what you bring to the table as a civil engineer make it impactful. 3. Work experience. In the work experience section, list your job title, employer, and dates of employment. Be precise and clear. For each position, use bullet points to highlight your responsibilities and achievements. This makes it easier to read. Focus on quantifiable achievements. Numbers show impact. 4. Education and certifications. Include your degree or degrees and relevant certifications like PMP, LEED, or safety certifications. These add credibility. If you have any licenses, such as a PE, Professional Engineer License, add that here. 5. Skills. In the Skills section, focus on software, technical skills, and soft skills relevant to civil engineering. This shows your versatility. Include software like AutoCAD, Start Pro and Revit, as well as soft skills like project management and problem solving. These are essential for your role. Now, let's talk about your portfolio. This is your chance to showcase your best work visually and is especially valuable in fields like structural or architectural engineering. Your portfolio should include three to five major projects that best represent your skills and expertise. For each project, include a brief overview, the role you played, and any notable achievements or challenges you faced. For each project, provide a detailed description of your role and the project's impact on the overall outcome. Highlight key achievements, such as improved project timelines, cost savings, or unique design solutions that you implemented. Visuals are key in your portfolio and can make a significant difference. Use high-quality images, three-dimensional renderings, or schematics to make your projects come alive and stand out. Add captions to explain specific design elements or construction stages, providing context to the viewer. Include examples where you solved a unique problem or contributed to sustainability or efficiency in your projects. Recruiters love seeing how you tackle challenges and overcome obstacles. Nowadays, a digital portfolio is highly accessible and can reach a wider audience. You can use platforms like Behance, LinkedIn, or a personal website to showcase your work. However, if you're going for a physical copy, keep it professional and minimalistic to make a strong impression. Before we wrap up, here are a few final tips to help you succeed. First, tailor your resume and portfolio to each job you apply for. Study the job description carefully and highlight relevant skills or experiences. Always keep your documents updated and don't hesitate to ask for feedback from peers or mentors. Sometimes a fresh perspective can make a huge difference in your presentation. And there you have it. These tips will guide you. By following these steps, you'll create a resume and portfolio that stand out in the competitive world of civil engineering.